Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday for me, not for you. But <laughs> when you're seeing this, it's Monday. So happy Monday. Hope you're having a great start to your week. I just had one of those showers and I feel so fresh. Got a good workout in. I went to lunch with my mom and then we went to Marshall's too. I got something and I will show you guys. But first things first, right now I am, whoa, styling my hair. And I'm trying out this new styling tool that Drew Barrymore sent me, just say it. <laughs> no, actually, like her team sent me some PR and I am excited to try it out. My extensions are getting pretty grown out. I've got an appointment at the end of March to get them taken out towards the end of March, like 20 something, 22nd, I think. I'll have them out for like a week at the end of March and then I'm gonna get them put back in. So my hair will have a little bit of a break, slightly. Um, this is the tool. It's a little terrifying. I don't really know how to use it. I read the directions and I'm slightly confused. Could I look up a video? Yeah, but like, what's more fun? Just trying it, right? Let me read it one more time. So I want to get like slight curls in it and there's like, you can straighten it and curl with this apparently from wet, which is really cool. For soft curls, wrap a section of the hair around the barrel and close wet to dry, allowing the barrel to rotate, hold in place. Oh, so I should wrap it? Let's see. Well, first let's just try it, normal. Oh. Okay, interesting. It dried it. Let's try the curl thing. Ah. Huh. Trial and error. Trial and error. Oh, open and let it fall. Okay. Ah. Maybe I'm slightly getting it. Let's try again. I feel like I'm not doing it correctly. I feel like I should be getting better results. One sec, I'm gonna look up a video. See what a little tutorial can do? Okay, I was twisting the barrel the wrong way. I was like, there's no way this is just like not working at all. Apparently like double click it and the barrel twists the other way. This makes sense now. We twist it around. Well guys, I'm just gonna be like totally honest with you. I tried it and that first curl came out decent and then I like couldn't figure it out. And I don't know, I just think it wasn't the hair tool for me. I just wanted to be honest. So I ended up switching to my Dyson. Maybe I'll give it another chance because then I watched some videos on it after because I was like, why could I not figure this out? And a lot of girls did it with their hair like dry where mine was like a tiny bit damp, but it says on the instructions that you can use it on like damp hair, but then people online were saying only use it on dry hair. So I was a little confused. It was hard for me to like wrap my hair around it, but maybe I just need to experiment with it a little more, but I ended up switching to the Dyson. So that's what this hair is. I wanted to tell you about what I am wearing. We got some new stuff in from Lovely and Blush Boutique. This is not sponsored, but they did gift me these pieces. So thank you so much to them. I literally just have a few pieces to show you. I'm gonna link it all down below. And you can use my code Alyssa for 10% off of the website if you want. I love this little shacket. So up my alley, like the cream and like nude colors. And it fits so nice. Definitely go snag before it sells out. Hopefully it's still in stock by the time you guys see this and then this little tank top is so comfortable super stretchy I am wearing my Soma bra underneath, but I feel like honestly if you wanted to even wear no bra you probably could you could probably work out in it, too It's very very nice and stretchy comfortable Nice bright white and then I tried to get like a little bit of color So we got this like sage green that would actually be pretty too I actually feel like when I do go for color I gravitate towards something like this like a greenish bluish kind of like sagey color It's still muted, but still like not white or beige <laughs> and then I got this yellow one It's gonna be so cute for the springtime. This one is definitely bright, but I feel like with the dark hair I feel like I like yellow with the dark hair better than when I was blonde. With the little jeans when it gets warm out, like I'm praying for warmth. My intent today was to go take pictures outside in this outfit. Like I wanted to get like cute pictures cause it's been a while since I've like posted on Instagram, like nice pictures, but it's just too cold. Like when my mom and I went out this morning, we were like freezing walking from the parking lot into places. It's just like uncomfortable. And I don't want to put on a jacket. Like I wanted to take a picture of this outfit and then I would be miserable and I'd be annoyed cause I probably wouldn't be able to get a picture. So I ended up just posting a mirror selfie. So yeah, if you guys want to shop any of this stuff down below, the next thing that I received is my books. I actually got them like two days ago, but I haven't had a second to open them. So we're doing it with you guys. Ooh. 
I ordered them on Poshmark, which is a great way if you want to own a book, like to shop secondhand, you know, keep them in rotation instead of buying brand new. They were in great condition, like barely even used anyway, so I was like, this is perfect. And if you guys are signing up for the Poshmark app, if you want to, you can use my code to sign up. I'll put it down below and you'll get $10 credit and I'll get $10 credit. So it's like win-win if you guys want. Anyways, I got this trilogy. I have to make sure I read them in order. <laughs> I don't remember if I explained it to you guys, but basically this series is about a wife and then she finds out that her husband was suddenly killed and then she finds out that he was living a double life. And it's like the story about that. So I'm probably gonna start reading these this weekend. I wanna bring one with me when I go see my sister. I'm leaving like in a week or so. So I definitely wanna bring one like on the plane and we're going to a beach. We've got plans. I'm so excited, you guys. Woo! But that's like always been a dream of mine, like reading on a beach. So I'm so excited to actually do that, so. Oh, and I have to show you something I got as well. This morning, my mom and I stopped into Home Goods. I wanted to get a little desk, like flat, calendar you know how people have those like giant notepad ones i didn't want one that big because my desk is small and i just wanted like a little one so i just looked in marshall's really quick i didn't find one i ended up ordering one on amazon but since i'm like doing a new youtube schedule i want to like have like a little calendar on my desk that i can visually just like look at because i use my phone for everything for scheduling but i think since i have my desk now you know having a little schedule right next to me if i need to look at it quickly or jot something down i feel like it'll be nice not like a planner just a little monthly calendar anyways i didn't find that at marshall's but what i did find was this book and it was on sale for five dollars and i was like you know what for five dollars might as well try it i looked it up briefly on tiktok it had good reviews you guys recommended this app to me it's called goodreads where basically there's like reviews and things like that i haven't looked at it too much yet but apparently this has good reviews so i'm gonna try it out it's like a little love story i like briefly read the back and i feel like those are the books i'm gonna be into like little rom-coms so Yep, we're adding to the collection, look at me go. Got lots of content to go through now. Anyways, moving on. So today is Friday and a couple of things. Number one, Zane got injections in his foot. So if you guys know, he's mentioned it before that he has plantar fasciitis. He finally went to the doctor for it a few weeks ago. I don't think I said anything about it. He ended up being super duper inflamed to the point where he needed injections. And so he went already and then he went again today. Like it was a few weeks apart. And last time he was down for the count. It hurt him so bad he could barely even walk. So we're anticipating him being down. He just got back and he's already like limping. So that's one factor for Sunday cleaning this week. And another factor is it's like 98% confirmed that I'm going to Staten Island to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. They do like a little parade thing. And so Sunday's kind of just going to be chalked overall, which I'm sorry. I feel like we keep missing Sundays, but since this weekend's going to be a little bit more chill, today is chill. We're not doing anything crazy. Tomorrow we're not doing anything crazy. Really just Sunday I would be leaving. If I do it today on a Friday, really we just have tomorrow, Saturday, and then Sunday would be the day that we clean. So I can keep it clean for one day, right? Zane just did the dishes. So that is done, checked off the list, which is amazing. And now I want to do some just decluttering, things that I usually don't get to on a Sunday. Like this random bag hanging here has so much random stuff in it, so I want to go through that and just tidy up. So let's get it going. Okay, we've got my gloves because it's convenient to have them right there, I guess. Travel tissues can go in a closet. And I'm pretty sure it's filled with mostly receipts. A lot of them are Christmas receipts, so I can go through them and see like... Obviously by now, if somebody needed to exchange something or didn't want something, I would know. So I can get rid of those receipts now. So I'm gonna go through all of this. I mean, come on you guys. Look at me go. Literally almost that whole entire tote bag was just like garbage receipts. And then I had extra purses hanging there. This is the empty tote bag that's gonna go away. And these I like to switch out like once in a while if I don't wanna bring my camera somewhere and I want a smaller bag. But I'm always in a rush somehow and so I'm always throwing things from each purse to each purse. So what I did was I like emptied everything out and then I went through the essentials. So like each purse has a hand sanitizer, each one has a pack of napkins, each one has gum, you know? So I kind of like filled my purses. So now these are gonna sit in the bedroom instead of sitting out here and looking like clutter. And so when I wanna switch my purse, I can just grab one and switch over like my essentials, you know? So I'm very proud of myself. I've been wanting to get this done for so long. All three of my babies. That is so cute.
Apartment is all tidied up feeling amazing. I need to start doing this like one little declutter at a time like I did that I need to do the office drawers I feel like I've said that so many times but it really really needs to be done and I'm like kind of dreading it because there's so much miscellaneous things in there I need to do our TV stand too So I'm gonna make a list of like the things that I want to get to each week and then when I have free time I'm gonna like do them one by one, you know Anyways, it's time to make some dinner and I'm excited. Today we are trying the ground bison. If you saw my last video, I did a sponsorship with ButcherBox and I've never cooked with ground bison before. So from my research that I found, it's basically like you can replace anything that you would make with ground beef. It's kind of just like a leaner version of ground beef. Um, so what I'm gonna do is make some meatballs. That way I'm using up the rest of my homemade sauce. I'm gonna serve the meatballs with cauliflower gnocchi. I'm gonna use the fresh basil that I bought. I'm gonna use a shallot panko breadcrumbs and i'm copying this recipe from hellofresh that i really liked not like copying it but kind of just using their cooking method i'm going to combine the ground bison with some panko a shallot they do scallions which i don't have salt and pepper and then i'm going to add my own spices and then basically i just cook them in a skillet i could also bake them but i think i'm going to skillet them i feel like it's quicker you know, they'll get a nice crust on them. I would also do a fresh veggie, but I don't have, so I think I'm gonna do frozen peas. Perfect, we'll just do some frozen peas. And yeah, I'm gonna kind of like just wing it a little bit. So let's cook some dinner. I'm so excited, actually, I'm so hungry. Usually I air fry the cauliflower gnocchi, it's from Trader Joe's, by the way, if you've never heard of it. it. Gets like a nice crust on it. I've never boiled it before, but just to make it easy, since I am making two bags of it, I'm just gonna boil it. it. Should be fine, it'll just be a little mushier instead of like crispy on the outside, you know? So I'm gonna fill my pot. This is going on the stove. Nice big pinch of salt and that's gonna begin to boil. We're gonna get our skillet going on a like medium, a little drizzle of olive oil and while it heats up we're gonna make our meatballs. Actually I have to cut the shell shallot up really quick. Cutting board. These are going in the meatball mixture so I'm just gonna chop them up super small. Perfect, so that's gonna go right into this bowl. Then we've got one pound of bison. I'm gonna do a quarter cup of panko. For the spices, I'm just gonna eyeball. We're gonna do salt, pepper, onion powder, not too much because we have the shallot, shallot, garlic powder, rosemary, parsley, oregano, basil, thyme, and a little bit of crushed red peppers. I'm gonna take off my rings. I always thought that for meatballs, you needed an egg to bind it, but I've done so many HelloFresh recipes where they never use one. I think the meat just needs to be like nice and cold so that it stays formed, um, cause the egg like binds it together. But I feel like it's not necessary because I've made them so many times without it. See, perfect, perfectly binded. Just gonna form them into like palm size meatballs. They are formed, I made 14 of them. Water is boiling, so we're gonna get these going and then we'll put our gnocchi in. I think I did good. They look great. Let's put in the gnocchi. This is gonna go for five to six minutes. All right, five minutes. And that's starting now. I think they're ready to be flipped. Let's see. Woo! Those look perfect. I drained the gnocchi, it's just on a low right now, and I'm gonna toss it with a little bit of sauce. I'm gonna turn the heat off and that'll kinda just stay warm for a second. They definitely seem a lot more mushy than <laughs> the air fryer for sure. Oh, my peas are done. Bison has to be at 160, so let's see where these meatballs are at. Not quite there yet. I'm gonna move them around a little, like on their side, and make sure I lower the heat so that they don't burn. Got my frozen peas, I just steamed them in the microwave. I'm gonna put them in with the gnocchi. And I'm gonna salt and pepper. I'm gonna cut up some basil. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in with the gnocchi now and then I'll use the rest of it to top the dish. The gnocchi I just boiled instead of air frying so it's gonna be mush, but whatever. Oh, that's cool. Mush is good sometimes. Mush is good. And a little bit of pecorino. 
and a little pinch of salt. Now that looks beautiful. Here's the final product. It looks and smells delicious. I'm gonna do a little taste test with you guys before I go enjoy some entertainment. Delicious, honestly, it tastes just like ground beef. And the gnocchi's good. I feel like it's literally fine boiled. If anything, it's more like real gnocchi. This is delicious. I have to see what Zane thinks. Dude, I love it. You do? It's so good. Doesn't it taste like ground beef? It tastes like just like it. Yeah. Fire so good. though. The whole dinner is fire. The gnocchi's pretty good too. So good. Oh my god. With the homemade sauce? I, you're killing it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about the fact that nobody likes this flavor of LaCroix and it's the only flavor that I drink? Lemon Jello. It's like sweet. It's so good. Well, I got stuck on TikTok on the couch, so it's late. I don't want dishes to pile up for tomorrow, so I'm gonna quickly do the dishes. There's not very many, and then I'm going to bed. Putting my little meatballs away for tomorrow. I saved a serving. I've been watching Married at First Sight on Hulu. It's such a great show to just throw on like in the background when I'm doing other things. I don't have to really pay attention to it, but I'm just finishing at season nine. So I'm gonna put that on while I wash dishes. you guys i am going to bed we've got zumba in the morning very excited taking off this eye makeup i feel like i didn't film as much as i wanted to today so i will continue this vlog into tomorrow little weekend vlog i need to put some tanner on these hands and tanner on my face and then i'm hitting the hay Tomorrow's gonna be a really chill Saturday though, and Jerry and I are watching the season finale of Love is Blind together after I go to the gym, so I will let you guys know my thoughts on that. Look at me right now. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, good morning. It's Zumba time. Just got dressed, wearing my little cut t-shirt. I'm gonna throw on a jacket, and I'm ready to go. Literally been obsessed with these t-shirts, by the way. I'm going to cut more of my pajama shirts that I don't wear because these are Amazing. I could have cut this one a little bit shorter, but once I wash it, it'll like curl up and stuff But I just love the look of them. I love like my little sports bra showing on the side. I feel like it looks cute. So Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Wow Do you guys hear the birds? It's actually so nice out today Finally gym done quick little Aldi pit stop. I need yogurt bowl ingredients. We cannot run out of those We need yogurt and strawberries. Let's go. This is dangerous. I smell McDonald's and it's so gorgeous out And now I want McDonald's fries Okay, I have no idea why there's a strawberry shortage literally zero strawberries at Aldi so we're stopping at Lidl. Let's see if they have any. Is there something coming up? Why is there no strawberries? Success, guys. I don't know what was going on at Aldi. They had zero. And a few people let me go in front of them, which was so nice. I feel like I love that common courtesy when people have like a huge cart full and I just had this and they were like, is that all you got? Go ahead. I'm like, that's so nice when people do that. Okay, last stop. I have to get the cats dry food. I gave them dry food this morning and realized they have zero left. But PetSmart's right here. So I'm gonna stop there and then I'm going home. Okay, I look really good. Done and done, I saw the cutest corgi ever. It's actually in the parking lot right now, but I'm not gonna film it because I don't want them to see me. But I tried to take a picture of him because he was so cute. We're having a little yogurt bowl party. We're gonna watch the Love is Blind finale. I've also been putting regular chocolate chips and I've now discovered the little mini ones. I feel like I can put so many more. And they're like more spread out instead of big chunks, you know what I mean? They're like little tiny babies. Anyways, I'm excited, the obsession is real. Okay, I'm so curious, so what's your I question? Know. What are you doing? And what are you doing? Bailey, I mean Bella. Hi, mama. Okay, hi. It's been a little while. We watched the show, had some yogurt bowls, so delicious. And I took a nice shower. Feel amazing. Um, I'm heating up some meatballs from yesterday. I'm gonna eat these really quick. 
Here's my really quick thoughts on the Love is Blind reunion. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I think Shane is a little bit misunderstood. I feel like he's just a very emotional guy and I feel like he cares a lot about other people. And I think he has like, you know, good intentions at the end of the day. I think he owned up to the mistakes that he made. I think everybody in the pods had said things that they, you know, weren't proud of. And I think that he, he owned up to it, you know? I don't know, I just feel like he sticks up for people and he cares and I feel like he knows right from wrong. And I honestly don't think he's on crack. I think that he has maybe like a twitch or um, some sort of thing with his eyes. You know, I think he has like maybe some sort of sensitivity. He could totally be on drugs, but I feel like he's a little bit misunderstood. Okay, that's my thoughts on him. I think Shake is an absolute disgrace of a human being. I think he's awful. I think karma, karma will do her thing on him. I think he has terrible morals and treats women nasty. Um, I'm very happy for Jarrett and Ayana, and I'm actually very surprised, but also so happy for Nick and Danielle. I'm very surprised that they worked out. Um, I thought that was like a train wreck. It seems like after the cameras turned off, they said they're going to counseling. It seems like they're doing well. So overall, I feel like it was a good episode. I'm surprised that also Shayna really owned up to what she did, but I think she is blaming a lot of what she did on the religion thing versus her actually really just liking Shane a lot more. So, anyways, that was my thoughts. I just threw on a super comfy outfit because I'm gonna stay home for most of the day. I'm just running out really quick right now. I should have gone this morning, but I just found out that I have to be in Staten Island by like 11 o'clock tomorrow. So I'm not gonna have time tomorrow. I thought maybe I would have a little bit of extra time in the morning to go get a shirt for tomorrow, but I'm gonna do it now because I know I'm gonna be rushing in the morning. So I was like, let me just run out again. Even though I was out this morning, I should have gone, but I didn't. I'm wearing my merch. <laughs> and Lululemon joggers. I actually was wearing these yesterday, so now I'm exposed, but all I do is sit around the house for a few hours in them and then I took them off, so I'm wearing them again. And I'll probably just throw on like white sneakers. I'm gonna go to Five Below and see if I can find like a cheesy St. Patrick's Day t-shirt. I'm sure they have a ton of them. And then I might go to Marshall's that's in that parking lot and try to find just like a basic green top. I looked at my wardrobe and all I have is a green dress or a Christmas sweater and it is too cold for a dress and it's gonna rain. And we're not wearing a Christmas sweater on St. Patrick's Day. Like, relax. We're gonna go weigh out our options, but quickly. Like, this is not gonna be an Alyssa walking around the store for five hours. That's a waste of time. Here's my final little running errands fit. I threw on this puffer from Forever 21. My bag and my Adidas. We're waiting for candy. Please don't look at our overflowing recyclables. Thank you, bye. Oh, my little chubbers. You guys are eating together? That's so cute. <laughs> so over here, the mask mandate is lifted, but regardless, you know what I find effective? When I'm vlogging in public and I'm wearing it, nobody can really tell that I'm talking to myself because if I talk quietly and people are like not standing right next to me, it looks a lot less awkward vlogging in public. We love that. Okay, let's try five below. It's gonna be packed because it's a Saturday, but we'll try. They only had three options. None of them were like bright green, obnoxious. I thought this one was cute. It just says St. Patty's. I got it in a large because comfy and I can wear it for PJs after. Um, they had another one that said something about malarkey and I don't know what that means. I'm not Irish. Um, I just googled it, but it says it's like an Irish name. I don't really know. Um, and then the other one said Lucky, and it was white with like a rainbow on it, and I felt like it was not very like St. Patrick's-y. Well, I guess a rainbow. Oh, like the leprechaun. Understood. Um, I just got this one. <laughs> I'm going to run into Marshalls really quick and see if the line isn't massive. I'll just get a little green shirt. But other than that, this is fine. This will work. Even if I want to cut it into a crop top too, don't look at how messy my car is. Sorry. Someone just pulled it next to me. Now I'm rushing. Okay, bye. Oh my god, it is craziness in here the line is so long i'm leaving not waiting on that line for a tank top we'll wear the t-shirt so many people in here i'm getting weird stares i'm leaving just realized while i'm out so i'm not rushing tomorrow i should probably fill my tank so let's do that i think the last time i filled my tank i was driving to Staten island actually <laughs> pretty ironic <laughs> So grossed out by gas pumps. I need hand sanitizer immediately. Okay, hold on though, because I can explain this mess. It's literally just shopping bags. Shove them all in this one. These need to go in the trunk. And my snow thing needs to go in the trunk. My receipt from today. I don't need that. I'm gonna wear this shirt, garbage. Okay, see? I'm gonna put this in the trunk and we have a clean car.
Look at her. Actually, let me put this. Oh no, I'm gonna keep this washable gift card here because it's for a car wash. I should do that. I should have went and done that. I'll go after I get back from Staten Island. Okay. I need to vacuum my car. Yeah, we'll do that um, another day. Whoa, you guys slipped. I didn't even know. So this is what I'm gonna wear. I went into Marshall's and I've, as expected, the line was ridiculous and it was not happening. It is gonna rain tomorrow, but it's gonna be literally almost 70 degrees. It's gonna be so warm. So I think this with just a light jacket on top, probably some jeans and sneakers, I'll be good to go. Perfect. And I got a large, so that's nice and oversized. I can do a little front tuck. I like like a big t-shirt fit, so I'm, I'm not mad at this. It's gonna be cute. I just got back and I just realized too that I have this like sage green tank top and then I also have this like army green kind of tank top. So I'll wear one of these under the t-shirt for if some reason I want to take it off, probably not, but yeah. I realize that I have those too. I got some Amazon packages. Let me get a box cutter. Got some Amazon packages. This one, oh, this is Ever's birthday gift. It's just another toolkit. How surprising. I also got him at the mall the other day an avocado shot glass because every time he opens a gift, he says, oh, it's an avocado. So this time he'll actually say it and it'll be a shot glass. I got it at Spencer's at the mall. Now I feel like I have to show you because it's really cute. Hold on, come on. That is freaking adorable. His birthday's on March 12th, so I'll probably get him a few other little things, like maybe some lotto cards, stuff like that. Anyways, I am so excited for this. Look at these babies. That's so cute. I told you guys yesterday I was looking for a little desk calendar. Literally ordered it on Amazon yesterday, and it's here. <laughs> Sorry, Bailey. I don't know if she knocked that down or if that was me putting it on the edge. Right, and it's here. I'm still trying to decide if I want to do... Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday uploads. I'm testing out Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the month of March, and then I'm gonna see how I feel. So far, so good. Regardless, I am going to start having a schedule because I think it will be better for me, my management, brand deals, my life, like everything. So I want like a physical calendar next to my laptop here that I can jot down, you know, if I have a brand deal due on a certain day, I can see what dates are open to fill up, and it'll just be good to have like, a physical calendar because I use my phone every single day and I still will. Seeing this while I'm working instead of having to go on my phone will be nice. Oh, I should have got this earlier. It has November 2021. Oh, and it's got notes, monthly goals, monthly priorities, to-do list. Oh, cute. So it can sit on your desk like flat or it also like opens. And it can sit like this if you open it up. There we go. The pages stuck together a little bit, but we got it. It was only like six bucks, so. It's fine for what it is. Oops, I just ripped that a little. So on one side you have like the month and then the other side you have like monthly goal, monthly priorities, notes, and to-do list. That's nice. I didn't do a planner because I always buy planners and then I stop using them. So I think this is just way more simplistic. I can just fold it up and have it right here on my desk. It's exactly what I needed. I could put like what days I'm gonna vlog content, what days I have brand deals due, what days I have to film brand deals. I have my trip next week to go to Texas so I can write that in here. We've got things to put on. Exciting, I love it. Literally so simple, it's what I wanted. Let's fill it out, shall we? How do I wanna do it though, is the question. Maybe I have like something colorful that I can code the days that I'm gonna be filming. Because if I know like this week I'm going on a vacation, I'm gonna be vlogging that. So those are all film days. I found this little gold paint pen. So let's just say if I wanted to mark it off. Oh, that's cute. And I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. I'm definitely vlogging this day because HelloFresh is coming. So I have to film that. This is all a weekend vlog though. Okay, wait. I'm gonna vlog this Sunday and leaving Texas. That's all gonna be vlogs. How many though? I don't know. Can I help the both of you? What are you two doing? I filled it up as much as I could. There's still some dates and things that I'm not sure of, so I don't wanna write anything down just yet. And I feel like I have to come up with a system because this is already getting a little bit messy, but we'll work on that. We'll get there. <laughs> I'm gonna put on either Married at First Sight or The Bachelor, something that I don't really have to pay attention to. And I'm gonna get some computer work done. I'm not sitting at my desk because I just feel like cozying up on the couch. <laughs> and then we're gonna make dinner in a little bit. And that's gonna be my Saturday night. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally a fail. I'm sitting here just working on my computer, watching The Bachelor. And I totally forgot to film dinner. Zane's cooking. <laughs> I'm just like, la da I'm not vlogging today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Did you throw out the ravioli thing? I did, yeah. Let me show you guys. Oh, it's right here. These are the raviolis that we're trying, the Trader Joe's goat cheese and sun-dried tomatoes. So just boiled those up, tossed with some butter and salt. And then we're making filet mignons. We had them from Butcher Box. Yep. 
Um, Got them in the oven. You have a recipe online that you used? Kind of. I always do my own thing. I just use other recipes to gauge like the cooking time. Yeah. So yeah, I'll give you the link for that. But basically, okay. I just did two minutes on either side and then six minutes in the oven. Okay. Because they're like thicker, you know? Butter, salt, pepper. Simple. The go-to. Got to yeah. keep it simple. Look at us filet mignon and raviolis. Ooh! I'm so excited. I wish we had, I need to get fresh veggies. I need to go to the, get fresh veggies. We haven't had any in so long. Yeah. But I could do some frozen ones, but this might be enough food, honestly. I think it is. Yeah. yeah it's gonna be filling. The steak has to rest, so maybe eat the ravioli first. I just don't want it to get cold. I did a pinch of salt on the ravioli, but in case you need more. You know you could put some fresh basil too we have, or is it? Huh? Fresh basil too, on the raviolis. They're probably flavorful enough though. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you a fork. Oh, uh, and that's I mean right now too. Okay. Belly, it is not for you. Wow. Lucky me. So, does anybody else have certain shows that they watch while they eat and certain ones they like? It's not good enough to watch while you eat. The Bachelor, I like watching when I'm definitely doing something else because I get bored of it. Usually not, but this season, I don't know, I've been getting bored. I have certain YouTubers too that I watch when I'm like doing my makeup or washing the dishes instead of like sitting and watching. I have like certain ones that I watch because, you know, the food, it's got to be worth, the entertainment has to be worth watching with food. So I'm going to go start, I'm finished, I finished the season of Married for Sight. I'm going to start season 10 now. Steak is really good too. Is it? Yeah. Zane great said, dinner. Great dinner? Zane yeah. said the raviolis are unreal and the steak's amazing. Oh, those are the best raviolis from Trader Joe's, hands down. Yeah, right? Uh-huh. So good. Super strong goat cheese. I like those better than the cacio e pepe ones actually. I'm going to try the steak too for you guys and then I'm going to watch my show. Oh, those raviolis are so good. Wow, 10 out of 10, I'll buy again. Oh my god! That steak is so good. Hey. Mmm. like it. Wait, it gives me the same vibes as ribeye. It's a little more lean. It's still really good though. Mmm. 10 out of 10, babe. Delicious. Thank you, babe. I'm, I'm like glad you like it. squinting with my glasses on my head. <laughs> good morning, everyone. I wanted to show you how my little St. Patrick's Day parade uh, outfit turned out. Here's the t-shirt. I'm wearing Abercrombie jeans. I just like did like a little front tuck. I wanted to go like comfy because we're obviously going to be like standing all day. And luckily the rain is supposed to stop by 1 o'clock, which is perfect because the parade starts at 12. So we should be good to go on that front. It's not going to be as warm as expected, but I'll take no rain, please. Um, I layered up a little bit. I've got on just like a white uh, zip up hoodie and then I layered on top this jacket from Forever 21. I'm wearing my simple Amazon purse. I wanted something that was like light and easy to carry around. I didn't want to bring like my big bulky purse. And then I just put on Nike socks, like high socks so my ankles don't get cold. And I'm wearing my Air Forces. I'm not sure how much like I'm gonna be in like, you know, dirty mud or water. I don't want to ruin any nice shoes. And these Air Forces are getting like trashed. They're not terrible, but they're definitely like my beaters. Like I don't mind getting them dirty. Um, my hair was okay. I Dyson air wrapped it a few days ago. So it was kind of just like left over from that. I just straightened if I had any dents from wearing it up. Hoop earrings. I'm pleased with this. I feel nice and comfy. These jeans are like nice and stretchy because I wore them like once for a few hours and then I didn't wash them so they're a little bit stretched out so it's perfect because if I want to sit down and stuff I'm like super comfortable in these. So I'm happy with this. I feel like it looks cute. I'm not going to bring my camera up simply because A, crappy weather, B, lots of people. I'm not bringing my big bag so I'd have to hold you. I don't want to lose my camera so. So I'll get some clips on my phone of the parade and what we end up eating, you know. The interesting stuff. But yeah. First stop is I'm going to stop at my favorite bagel place, Wally's, and I ordered an egg everything bagel with scallion cream cheese. And I'm going to enjoy that on my drive to Staten Island. It's Sunday. Got to start the day with a bagel and cream cheese. And it's going to be a long day, so I wanted to fuel myself. I'm driving home like way later tonight, so I definitely need to eat something now. We'll probably go out to a lunch or something during the parade or whatever or after. Let's do this. I don't know if you guys understand how excited I am for this. Egg, everything, scallion cream cheese. It's always the way to go. Oh, it's so soft. Yes. It's been some time since I felt right. Trying to get right out of my own head. Come for a ride with me. My mind has been killing me. Okay, it's fine. 
hi guys uh i haven't vlogged in a very long time like literally since this morning so it is later at night now i am home i stopped at taco bell on the way home because it just felt right like a right way to end the sunday if you guys are interested i got a chicken quesadilla side of avocado ranch sauce it's my favorite fiesta potatoes and Oh, this is the quesadilla. That's a Crunchwrap Supreme quesadilla, chicken quesadilla. And that's what I got. And I'm putting on TV and just enjoying because I feel like I talked a lot today. I sat in the car and I'm just ready to sit and do nothing. You know what I mean? Just take in some entertainment and enjoy the rest of the Sunday. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll tell you guys about my day. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I will uh, chat with you guys about today. This is probably so irrelevant, but I have to clarify because I just filmed it. Zane separated the bag and he gave me two quesadillas instead of the crunch wrap. So I do have my crunch wrap. I just had a panic attack that they gave me two quesadillas because I checked the bag before I left the parking lot and I made sure and I was like, what? I'm pretty sure they gave me a crunch wrap and I was so sad because this is my favorite thing. So we've got the crunch wrap. Zane stole it. <laughs> Okay guys, this is dedication right here. <laughs> Look how sweet. I fell asleep on the couch. So I'm gonna go to bed. Oh my god. It is not even late at night, it is 8.30. But this is what Sunday's about, you know? Today was really fun. The story that I wanted to tell you guys is I was waiting for friend to go to the bathroom so I was just sitting on this little like ledge area and some I woman mean, had Zane's playing video games. games. We were laughing at these few girls because they were holding bananas and Lucky Charms. It was just so funny. And they were like they handing out bananas to people and, and like giving Lucky Charms right. to people. And all of a sudden they like left the like place that we were at, the bar. And she handed, for some reason, she handed me the Lucky Charms. So I ended up with Lucky Charms. So Fran came back from the bathroom and she was like, why do you have Lucky Charms? <laughs> And the weather held up, thank God. It was literally gorgeous. I was in my t-shirt, it was so warm out. And that's all that my brain can remember right now, but maybe I'll talk about it more on the podcast that I record tomorrow, we'll see. Um, regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh my God, I was up early. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. Ah! The next thing that I received you guys, Benji's on the couch. <laughs> my hair just got in my eye and Zane is washing dishes. That's what that noise is. Okay. 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 Just to make it easy since I'm, what? The most Irish people you'll ever meet. Baby. You'll ever meet. Stop. Stop. I gotta get the game. What? What the heck? Oh, the robot back here. Let me see your hands up. This is literally a super song. I'm not even kidding. Uh, are we dirty here? What's going on?